What's happening, Pokey fam? I'm in my car again. You know what that means. That's right. It means we're going to go searching for some Pokemon cards, but we're not just going to do any searching today. We're going to see if it's possible to find cards without a pre-order at some stores that maybe not everyone is checking. So first up, we're here at Rite Aid. Let's check this Rite Aid, a couple other Rite Aids, and maybe even some other random stores. See what we can find, bring it all back, and open it up. Let's go. <laughs> All right, at Rite Aid, it looks like we've got some Vivid Voltage Packs and some Knockout Packs. Now, these are pretty cool. I've got a couple of the Tyranitars at home already. So let's grab one of these and let's just grab like three of these. And let's go check another store. All right, here in the back of the store, we actually found some three pack of the Vivid Voltage. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these two. Let's go to another store now. All right, so nothing at the Target on the front card aisle. And as you can see, they are doing the new 8 a.m. only on items $19 and above. Let's check the back. Maybe we can find one pack. All right, nothing here on the back on the toy aisle, but there's usually two toy aisles. So let's check the other one. Looks like nothing on this other toy aisle, too. Let's go check a few more stores. All right, here on the toy aisle, it looks like this is where some of the cards might have been, but it's completely cleared out. We're gonna check the front of the store at the smaller little card kiosk. Let's go. All right, nothing on this front aisle. They got some magic, they got some Yu-Gi-Oh, but that's not what we're looking for. Let's try GameStop. Okay, I just left GameStop. They weren't really cool about filming in there for some reason this time, but I was able to grab one of the new first partner packs. We found some other stuff today, so let's go home, open this, everything up, and see if we can get some pulls. Let's do it. All right, I can't believe that. We actually went out on a Friday around noon with no pre-orders and we're able to walk right into a store and actually find some Pokemon cards. Now, I know that that's not typical in a lot of places right now. I do live in a county with about a million people, so I think we just got really, really lucky today that we found some packs at Rite Aid and GameStop. But let's take a look at what we found. Some Vivid Voltage blisters, very cool, couldn't pass those up. A three pack Vivid Voltage. Now, I know I always say that these have the best pull rates, the three pack products, even though in my last few videos I haven't pulled anything great out of them, I think this pack is gonna turn it around. We also found the Lucario knockout box. These are really cool. There's a Tyranitar one that comes with it. You get some promos in here and two packs. Look at that, fairy and dragon type on the side still. And then honestly, what I'm the most shocked about was finding this first partner pack at GameStop. Now I know a lot of them probably had it today, but I imagine you had to be there like right when the door opened if you wanted to get it. So I'm excited. Let's tear into all of this and see what is left on the shelf on a random Friday. Let's go. All right, let's start out with Vivid Voltage. We'll do these little blisters first and then we'll get into this three pack, all Celebi blister pack artwork. Wonder if it'll be all Celebi pack artwork. Nope, that would have been pretty weird. Zarud, now Vivid Voltage is such a cool set. You got your obvious chase cards, your Pikachu VMAX, your Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX and stuff like that. But you also have the incredible, amazing rares where even if you pull a green code, Lucky Leaf, you still have a chance of pulling an amazing rare. I think that's awesome. I think every set should have something in place of the reverse hollow slot. We got a Milkreary, Skiddo, okay Skiddo, Eevee, Fan P for our reverse, no amazing rare, and a non hollow X Bloud for our first rare. We'll start you off in the pull pile because you are a rare and more so so I don't forget where the pull pile is. All right, still kind of getting used to this new top-down setup. Oh, the Ore Beetle VMAX. That's another one I'd really like to pull. If you saw for what feels like forever ago, my Astonishing Volt Tackle open, that was one of the first, ah, oh no, I'm messing this up. That was one of the first uh, VMAXs that we pulled. And I was stoked because it looks like a giant UFO. Lucky Leaf Energy. One of these times I'm gonna say that and it's gonna actually be lucky. Trubbish, shup it. 
Shootle. I think the artwork though, even on the commons in Vivid Voltage is just so clean. There we go. Just like I was saying, even if you pull a green code, you have a chance at an amazing rare. And this is actually one that I don't have yet. Amazing rare Celebi. You're going up on the wheel because we got to take a look at that incredible color burst in the background. Look at that pattern. That is so awesome. Now anything kind of behind you? non hollow rare behind the Celebi. Very awesome. Let's leave this up. And we're starting the pull pile off right today. Amazing rare Celebi. How insane would a rainbow rare... Did I say amazing rare or just rainbow rare? Amazing rare Celebi. How cool would an... Uh, a rainbow rare Pikachu out of a random blister bean. I know it is possible. Here's a code card for you. Four to the front. Bam. Definitely uh, higher uh, printing quality on Vivid Voltage than Battle Styles so far. Battle Styles been wild. Fampy, Shuppet, Pachina, Voltorb, Beldum for our reverse, and Talon Flame V. Very awesome. Now the full art talent flame would be a really cool one to pull from this. We pulled it already from Astonishing Volt Tackle. So, you know, gotta try to pull it again in the English version. Talent Flame V going into a sleeve. Oh, bam. I'm gonna have to go get some new sleeves soon. All right, let's see if this little three pack that I always say is super lucky is actually lucky this time. Now, I think the only reason I say that is because a while ago I opened up a bunch of the Burning Shadows uh, three packs that were showing up at Burlington around uh, last Christmas, I guess. And I opened like three or four of them. Oh, they just bent our Sobble promo in there. That's sad. We're going to have to flatten that one out somehow. I opened up like three or four of those three pack Burning Shadows blisters. And I pulled a GX out of like each one of those three packs. Now, obviously not the Zard, but just got me thinking these three packs, that's the way to go. Okay, bam, code card for you. Four to the front. And we've got Dark Energy. All right, Opal, Matang, Girafferig, Wismer, Trubbish, Dynamo. Got a Klobobus, Klobobus, I always say that I'm wrong. Woobat, Explow for the reverse, and ah, Hollow Whale Lord. Okay, still cool, still cool, just a Hollow. Two more packs from this Vivid Voltage three pack, and then we'll get into the Knockout collection. Why doesn't this one open? There we go. Bam. Anybody else's allergies killing them out there? It's been pretty brutal today. Wait, did you get to see that one? I think my thumb might have covered the first part of that code. One, two, three, four, to the front. What amazing rare. I think I'm still missing an amazing rare Zacian. Let's see if we can make one up here today. Joltik, Cottony, Mudbray, got a Slugma. Xerneas for our reverse and non hollow I'll hollow, non hollow I'll creamy for our rare. One more vivid pack from the Sobble three pack. Give us more than just one hollow. Maybe I jinx it every time I say the three packs, you know, are the better pulls. I've seen some people get some pretty wild stuff though out of the three packs. There you go, card, code card, four to the front. All right, oh, got it upside down. Electric Energy, Trumbeak, Sableye, one of my favorites, Dewalt, Riolu, Chimico, and we got Voltorb, Rock Ruff, Reverse the Clefairy, and non hollow Manetric for our rare. Okay, I gotta stop saying out loud that I think the, the three packs have the best pulls in them. As soon as I stop saying that, that's when we're gonna pull some fire out of it. But let's see what's in this knockout collection. I wanna say I opened one Ancient Origins inside. I could be wrong. Oh, all right, I think I was right. Bam, so we've got Shining Bisharp Hollow in the little pack, very cool. What's behind it? Now I always debate 
when I get like a promo card and a little wrapper like this, like, oh, I should keep it sealed in the wrapper, but the wrapper is like a horrible thing to keep it in and it's always gonna stay better quality if you put it in a top loader and a sleeve. All right, and a Zorro, hollow, cool. Some little, pro oh, not promos, there we go. On the stack, got our Lucario here. Oh man, the way they just kinda force it in there. You always end up with a bent card. Pretty cool though, we got Alakazam behind him on the big screen it looks like, that's cool. All right, onto the pull pile. What do we got? Ancient Origins and Roaring Skies. Pretty cool, it's pretty, two pretty cool packs. Oh, and our coin, right on, all right. Here's a code card for you. Get you a Lucario knockout collection. Let's do this Ancient Origins pack first. That Shining Rayquaza on the front, so cool. It's a play mat that I have on my other desk right now. All right, bam, let's see our code card. Now I wanna say X, Y, so it should be three. All right, three to the front. Oh, I might've messed up. I might've messed up level ball. Gumi, Beldum, unknown, very cool. Ball toy, there, oh, no, okay. I thought that would have been our rare? Maybe I messed this up? We've got full art, ball, not full art. That's pretty cool. We're gonna put you on the pull pile. Cottony, ace trainer for our reverse. And there is our rare, non-hollow vile plume. No hits from the ancient origins today. Let's see what non-shiny Rayquaza has in the roaring skies. Oh, I'm already liking this. I'm already liking this Shuppet artwork. Oh, okay. Well, this is a white code. We got three to the front for Roaring Skies. The Trainer Mail. Manetric again. That Shuppet is really cool for common artwork. Smile Blue. Got a Wingull. Bag on. Pikachu. Also pretty cool Pikachu artwork. Un Unfezant for our Unfezant for our reverse and non hollow. Sheninja, Sheninja for our rare. Okay, we got two more packs in our first partner pack here. I wonder what they're gonna be, if it's gonna be the same like good voltage and whatnot. All right, first let's pull out the jumbo cards. Ah, bam. Got Rowlet, Litten, and Poplio. Let's pop these. See what I did there? Into our first partner binder. Got our Pikachu, our Grookey, Sobble, Score Bunny. We're gonna go Rowlet. Ooh. And then Bam Litten. and Pablo. So cool. I'm gonna have to grab another jumbo binder just to put all my other random jumbo cards in because I definitely want this one to just have all of the first partner jumbos in there. Okay, we messed up the pull pile here. What packs did they give us? Let's just slide them out. Look at that. Battle styles. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting older stuff and a sun and moon base. Let's see what they put in the sun and moon base. Sun and Moon Base has been in like a lot of random products lately. They must have like a lot of that sitting around somewhere. Four to the front for Sun and Moon. Bam. Psychic Energy. Got a herd here. Charge a bug. Grubbin. Growlithe. Really cool Growlithe artwork. Poplio. How about that? Wingle. Sir Skit. Crab Brawler for our reverse and non hollow Parasect. Battle Styles, it all comes down to you today. Randomly walking into a store in the middle of the day on a Friday, getting super lucky finding some stuff. Can we get any pulls besides our amazing rare? Oh, they green coated us and it was upside down. We'll still do it. Four to the front. See, that's why I'm saying where it'd be cool if every set had something fun to pop into the reverse slot. Baltoy, Electabuzz, Honage, Tepig, 
Murgrow in the cemetery. Reverse is our Esper and our non hollow rare. I'm still just so excited that we were able to find some stuff to open today. It's getting so crazy out there. If you don't have a pre-order or you're not able to get in line at a Target or something at like literally six in the morning and spend your whole morning there. So I'm just really stoked that we were able to, to pull anything today. Let's do this quick little recap. We got the ball toy, Lucario promo, the Bisharp promo, the Zorak promo, probably not promos, but you know what I mean. Whale Lord, our Sobble promo. And our pulls from the day, the Talonflame V from the single blister packs, our Celebi Amazing Rare, and I don't know why I put that explode on there. But as always, PokeFam, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new Pokemon opening every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you in these next videos.